Hello, everyone, and here we have a new story. Before we get to that, I want to ask you to subscribe, like, and be sure to write comments in order to participate in the development of the community. Write how to improve my community, current topics and the stories you are interested in, and much more. I read and listen to all the comments. People write me stories by mail from different countries. There are problems with translation. I apologize for this. I will work on it and try to fix these errors. I want to thank everyone for their support and the people who wrote to me by mail. Broadcast news stories. New videos on my channel are published once every two days at 7 p.m. Don't forget to put a bell in order not to miss new videos. And now let's go. Hello, I want to tell you my story. I'm 40 years old. My wife is five years younger than me. We have a child who is four years old. This story began even before there was a new addition to my family. My wife couldn't get pregnant for a long time, but we strongly wanted a baby. We have been married for more than five years. We have been waiting for this happy moment when this child will be born. My wife had to suffer with endless course of treatment. These courses were painful, expensive, and ineffective. We even despaired and thought that we would not be able to conceive a child. My wife even suggested that I leave her. She wanted me to find a girl who could give birth to my child so that I don't lose my chance to procreate. But I refused because I loved her very much. My wife's last course of treatment was going well without any problems. To be honest, we no longer hope to get a result. But during the last procedures, my wife told me that she had found an excellent gynecologist. This gynecologist has helped a lot of girls. The difficulty was that he lived in a nearby town, but my wife and everywhere to drive for treatment. So it's okay, I thought. Additionally, she was in need of a change, as she had been feeling quite nervous lately. I decided to avoid upsetting my wife and therefore I sent her off to another city, renting a hotel room for a week's stay. I wished her to simply sit and wait for the results instead of returning home all the time. The next day, my wife called me and was very happy. She said he was the best doctor she had ever seen in her life. I smiled and was glad that my wife was in a good mood. After that, she said that she would stay for another week to undergo treatment. I didn't notice anything strange. Usually her courses lasted much longer, but okay, I thought maybe there really was a new treatment method. After two weeks of agonizing waiting, I was happy to see my wife. She showed me the test results. She was much better and could try to conceive a child again. Of course, we had sex every day because there was a new hope. Two weeks later, my wife got pregnant and I was very happy. Local doctors forbade my wife to do any work and travel to another city, but my wife insisted and wanted this gynecologist to watch her during pregnancy. I really wanted her to give birth to a healthy baby, so I did not argue with my wife. I dropped her off again in another city to this gynecologist and rented a hotel for a week. My wife came back as happy as she was that time. She said that the doctor had canceled her bed rest and she was generally fine now. I was very surprised and began to ask her about the treatment, but my wife managed to calm me down and convince me of the competence of this doctor. Nevertheless, I did not like her trips to another city and I found her a good specialist in our city. But my wife flatly refused and threw me a tantrum. She said that I was preventing her from being treated by a normal doctor because this doctor has proven that he is a professional. With his help, she got pregnant. As a result, I decided not to argue with my wife. I had to endure the constant trips to another city until the end of the pregnancy. As a result, my wife gave birth in another city. It was the first time I saw her doctor with my own eyes. I was very happy and with tears in my eyes thanked this doctor who helped our family with the child. After the birth of the child, I thought that my wife's trips to another city to see a gynecologist would stop. But immediately after giving birth, my wife said that she needed to see a doctor because she had some complications during childbirth. But at the hospital, the obstetrician said that there were no complications. At the same time, I began to notice that she began to actively communicate with someone on the phone and did not tell me who it was. She started hiding the phone from me and so on. But at that moment, I was very tired of work and the baby because he was constantly crying at night and I couldn't think about it. My wife has been visiting this gynecologist for three years. Later trips became more rare, and now she went once a month. It was not too expensive for the family budget, <laughs> and I enjoyed spending time with our child. That's why I didn't mind. 
Nevertheless, a suspicion was forming in my head. My child was blue-eyed and blonde, despite the fact that my wife and I are dark, hired. I started looking for information on Google and read that this may change with age. My friends laughed and made fun of me about it, <laughs> but I didn't pay attention to them. As a result, the child grew up, but he did not become more like me. At the same time, my wife was increasingly moving away from me. I began to see that she was no longer interested in me as a man. By the time my son turned three, we were already living as neighbors. That was fine with my wife. I saw her constantly going into another room and talking to someone on the phone. It made me very nervous. To my questions, what happened? She didn't answer anything specific. One day, I couldn't stand it. She went to talk on the phone in another room. I snatched the phone out of her hands. My wife started screaming and scratching me. She wanted me to give her the phone, but I demanded to say who she was talking to. I knew there was no point in looking at the phone because she had a password on her phone, but my wife said it was none of my business and called me names. After that, I got really angry and smashed her phone. She started crying and getting mad at me. She screamed and said that I was not a man and had never been one. As a result, she confessed that it wasn't my son. Then, she called me a horned deer and said that if it wasn't for her, I would never have found out. These words left me speechless and my legs gave way, after which I sat down on the floor. I guessed that my wife was cheating on me, but I couldn't believe that it had been going on for so long. When my wife ended with aggressive screams, she immediately started crying and said that I disgusted her. I remember her angry look. She looked at me and repeated that I was a complete zero as a man. In response, I said that she had lost her mind and demanded to apologize. She laughed and told me who the real father of the child was. At that moment, I fell into a stupor for the second time. The father of my child turned out to be this gynecologist to whom my wife went for treatment throughout the treatment throughout the time. I wanted to do something bad to my wife, but I didn't have the strength to get up from the floor. But she stood there and continued to mock me. She said that she had wanted to divorce me for a long time in order to start living with the doctor. She said that this doctor would leave his wife for her and they would live as a happy family. I was shocked and didn't know what to do. I loved my child very much. I have been waiting for his appearance for a very long time and have been taking care of him for three years. I calmed down, gathered all my thoughts into a fist and filed for divorce. My ex-wife admitted her guilt and we were quickly divorced. My wife happy and contented, went to another city to live there with her doctor. The reality for my ex, wife turned out to be cruel. Of course, the doctor enjoyed this affair while it was happening from a distance, because it didn't interfere with his marriage in any way. But it actually turned out that he didn't need my wife or his child. But my wife realized it too late. Of course, she tried to come back to me, but I was relentless. Because I didn't need such a wife. Two years have already passed since that moment. I sued and challenged paternity in court. The DNA examination confirmed that it really wasn't my son. Now let this doctor support my wife and pay her alimony. I have a new spouse. She's pregnant and we're expecting a baby. This child is definitely for me. As they say, I learned from my past mistakes. My ex-wife still can't fix her personal life. She does not work and lives thanks to the alimony paid by the doctor. It's a uniquely pathetic sight. Sometimes, for the sake of variety in her life, she tries to get our relationship back. She knows that I have a new wife, but she still offers to stay lovers. Apparently, she has already completely despaired of her life. Naturally, I don't need such an offer. I'm not gloating or even angry at her. She ruined her own life without my help. If you like this story, give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos. Now let's move on to the opinion of the author of the channel. The opinion of the author of the channel. According to tradition, I want to wish strength and patience to our hero. After listening to your story, I was surprised why you weren't interested in this doctor before. Your wife has been visiting him for three years. It was very obvious. But I'm glad you've learned from your mistakes. I hope people who find themselves in a similar situation will be more vigilant and careful. You did well to start a new life. Move forward and don't look back at the past. Your wife will never be happy. This punishment awaits all traitors on our planet. If you have watched to the end, I want to say thank you very much. I love you all. Thank you for joining me on this exciting journey of love, betrayal, and redemption. 
I appreciate your support and encourage you to subscribe, like, and share the story. Your participation and feedback are invaluable for shipping our content and promoting mutual understanding and community growth. Until we meet again.